Oh, it's a pack slip. Where are all the uh, Mercury? Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. and Roger Clark's car on Mercury. Have you had your tires checked out? I know. <laughs> it could be mercurized. Well, you know, funny enough, uh, the, the analysis is just incredible. Oh, they, have a, they had um, a historian there who went into the old peck oh, slip. Oh, to find out Yeah, things. and, and yeah, it was an artisanal, and we all laugh when they said artisanal, but it really was. It was an Italian family that were barometer makers. Oh, very cool. Yeah, like, really yeah, cool. Very charming, charming to think about it. Oh, yes. they've excavated without mercury. Yes. Well, that's a deal to remember why you, you know why you right were mad as a hatter. Yeah, well, getting rid of the right way is not what they planned to do. Did you know where mad as a hatter came from? They made hats with mercury. Oh, yeah. oh you're kidding me. That's, that's where so it came cool. from. Yes. Wow. Yeah, this that's place probably had a little smokestack. That's, and, uh, that's it was, why you were as mad as a hatter. Right. He had two houses, and wow. he owned. He lived in one house and, and spilled mercury there. Oh, and then mercurized. He moved to the, Do you remember mercurized? Way back when I was a kid, we really don't have dry cleaners were having, no it said mercurized. That's right. Oh, I remember that. That's right. But this wasn't even number one on the thing that what we have up right now. This Seventy-seven. Well, we You're were trying here. to we were trying to take the second applicant first, but the second applicant's not even here either. So, um, could you do you know how to contact the first applicant by any chance? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that now. Right. Thank well, you. Well, aren't people here from the first applicant? Nobody's here. Nobody's here. Well, Jason, do you want to do? Do you want to do the Reed Street one? I can't. I have to refuse myself. Oh, okay. I'll be involved, but I can't. Right. I should. Can I can write it. Can I write it? The big one. Yeah. I'm Even doing though I'm not the building be the right meeting. now. Yeah. Because so, you could have. You can write it. Yeah. Just Ricky, who did you can the last? Write it. I can write it. Who I did. Did. I, I did. I did all of them except one. The, who did the last Reed Street? Because that was here. Um, we should get a copy of the last Reed Street. Let me get that. It was you. You did. Yeah. You want to know about it? I didn't present it. You ripped them apart. We're coming back for the old uh, Euler on the on the other end of that. A Euler for, for, for no, yeah, for because we're getting two. We're waving. There's a height. Oh, restriction. you got it. Okay, you let's run to... copies. That's great. Uh, height restriction for narrow buildings. There is no twenty Nolan in our district. I think it might be on the Governor's Island. That's right. Oh, of course it is. Nolan's. It absolutely is. All right, so I will I will do one, but I don't think I should do the one hundred five, one hundred seven read. Yeah, all right, you do the first one, Bruce do the second one. Okay. Oh, I wish. And they should get a taste of Bruce. I mean, why should they... <laughs> well, I will... Should we spare them? I will not be here. I'll anymore. present it at the meeting. It's just um, okay. I, I'm up to here with everything, and I've got to go to a, a funeral service tomorrow. And I, okay. No. So I'm doing the first one. Well, show see, uh, I've never experienced this before. Yeah. Sitting shiver for seven <coughs> days. Mm. Yes, that's what you're supposed that's to do if you're okay. orthodox. Okay. Okay. Uh, don't look at me. If you're orthodox, what? You sit chair for seven of days. Of course. Yeah. Well, I didn't know. I've never yeah. ever, ever Usually experienced Usually most that. reformed two. Jews do. Yeah. Two. How many Jews? Two. Have, besides me, how many Jews? Yes. He knows oh, me. Lots, but I've never seen seven days before. Lots, but I've never seen seven days before. Or by handout or both? And Jeff. And I have a handout. Of course. And so is he. Yes. I understand, but I've never seen seven days before. Never seen seven days. So we're going to do 77 White Street. Are you ready to present, sir? He's our guy. Who's doing 77 White Street? Uh, Jason. Thank you. Isn't it approved? It's a new vault. How much time do you have to spend? Well, not a lot of time. Unless we're replacing granite with... Uh, Grab it with plastic. Thank then you. We're not. And we're putting in the nice vault lights, right? Uh, we're placing the nice vault lights. Huh? We know this building. Do you guys see any more? Uh, no, we got one for well, one for Ramesh, please, oh, yes. for the office. Okay. Store salvageable, not replace salvageable. Just store them. Oh, yeah. Okay. You can run through this pretty quickly. We'll slow you down if it's too fast. We'll slow you down when it comes to re removing and storing the vault lights. Oh, my lights. good. Look at that vault steel. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so we're here today to talk about 77 White Street and the proposal for the vault and sidewalk replacement. Um, it's part of the Tribeca East Historic District. Mm -hmm. It's part of the district.
Market, but it's not individually land market, it's part of the Land Market 1922. Um, we're proposing for the scope of work to replace the vault and remove and store anything that's salvageable um, under the cast iron vault like panels. Um, so here is the vault area and the um, The 10 inch blue slabs are shown in green, and the red area shows the vault light and the diamond space. Mm -hmm. Um, and, you, and you can see in these photos that the frame is severely deteriorated. There's a lot of rust, um, rust jacket and section loss, um, which definitely should be replaced. Um, so we've done a survey of the vault, of the vault lights, and we've done like a traffic light system, where green is likely to be salvaged, yellow is potentially, and red is um, unlikely to be salvaged. And what's the percentage of green to red, red and yellow? Um, it kind of goes uh, overall. Yeah. I say overall, uh, twenty-five percent salvage, twenty-five um, percent in the yellow, and then maybe fifty is going to be uh, unlikely to be salvaged. Mm -hmm. Okay. So to give you an idea of what our criteria is down here, we have a green section, and um, that we're going to do everything we can to salvage. The yellow, you can see some deterioration, and then here's another part where it's definitely red. There's section loss, um, the iron's deteriorated, and in the green, yellow, and red sections, all of the glass bullets are gone. Um, yep. What the what the system has been for the building to date is putting concrete and mesh on top of the vault lights. So although the vault lights are there, they're not visible, um, and you can see there's a lot of damage. Mm -hmm. And just more examples of the same. Yep. And then here's some areas that we're hoping that we can potentially save, and some areas that we cannot save. Um, and um, these are also salvageable in pretty good condition. And this is our proposed sidewalk plan. So, what we're going to do is um, everywhere where the vault lights are, we're going to replace that with diamond plate um, if approved. Um, and this is what the section are in various areas. Um, and we understand the importance of being in keeping with the historic district. So these are similar examples. So we have four or three in White Street itself where they've used diamond plate um, yeah. and keeps in store. But diamond. have you did you do any research on on uh, the glass vaulted uh, renovations? For example, what's the one we approved on? Yes, it's on uh, West Broadway-ish. They, yeah. they even we made them take the panels that's and put right. them on top of it. That's of right. Of that's right. Head. That's right. So you didn't do any studies of so other glass vaulted we restorations. Did, and the building that you're talking about, we are familiar with, but for the whole area, there was a lot of examples of the diamond yeah. plate. But but there are a few, and we can probably find them if well, you can't. There are many examples. There's many. Of yeah. Brand new bullet glass in right. the district. Right. We, right. we know why you didn't show them to us. I mean, so the issue, the issue with this building primarily is that there's mechanical systems mm -hmm. underneath the vault lights. Right. So, right. Um, anytime we get these jobs, just like you guys, we want to keep them. We want to, I mean, ideally, we'd like to put new back. But we all know these things leak. They're a nightmare for the supers to take care of. The bullets break. It's 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 constant work. So you know, especially when you've got um, expensive mechanical equipment below, it's not the, the most practical of items. So yeah, but when you when you when you put them on top of a a, a protected substructure, that's a different issue altogether. Just right? as a foe. Yeah, well, not as a foe, but I mean, it, it's, well, it's, it's protected real. underneath. I understand. Yeah. It's not just creating light for the people with the mechanicals underneath it. That's all, right? I mean, I think it's. I, I think we could close the presentation and then comment on it and then figure yeah. out where we go with right. bullet glass replacement as right. a community board going yeah. forward because we're either going to say to put it back in and no one will care or whatever, but that's where our position is. Yeah. Well, right. actually, when it comes to vault glass, LPC is, has been pretty um, strict on it. Well, so let's good. echo that or not. I mean, yeah, that's okay. Our so quickly go through. Is there anything else? The last one is any questions. So I guess okay, yeah, the question is <laughs> keeping the granite or bluestone yes. or whatever yes, that is. Yes, okay. so, we're so just the area that currently is covered with 
concrete and yeah. Left. Blah, blah, blah. It's going to look the same right. as it's looked even since the designation photo. Right. The diamond yeah. plate, the, the neighborhood in that sense isn't going to change. Uh, how many, how many yeah. units are in the building? Uh, I think it's six. Yes, it is six. So six residential units. Yes. And commercial? No commercial. No commercial. So it's... Uh, and point out on that piece. It's it's from it's just that little the right bit. end. It's not a lot. Oh, yeah, it's it's right. 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 And not the whole yeah. thing. It's quite the, a small whole thing. Yeah, yeah. it's about twenty feet of this construction. Yeah, it's twenty four yeah. feet to be. Twenty four by what? Uh, and the, uh, twenty four by six. So what we're saying here is, you know, in this day and age, with the value of real estate, to do the right thing for a twenty four by six foot vault seems to me what we should be doing. And I think I Bruce only is have right. how many units because it is daunting uh, for only six people. Uh, I believe. Oh, it's a boy's small fortune to do these things. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but, uh, and if it helps, we don't make rules anyway, so we yeah. can take a position on right. how we want to right. know, our no, okay. so and we know. And right. Your uh, uh, this, well, the whole job is going to be around. $250,000. So you're saying it'll but be a million dollars? Part, oh, no, yeah. no, no, no. Part of that is in the... What part? Yeah. Um, I, don't, I don't recall offhand what that one was, but let's call it... Um, I, I want to say, you know, the, the diamond plate and the steel could be around forty, fifty thousand dollars 50000 I was going to say fifty. Yeah. So, right, so but so what we could do... I mean, didn't we on one of them... We did. We said you don't have to replace the every bullet piece but we want right. even if it's old we want it put your proper waterproofing there so everything's right but then find a way to incorporate the panels even damaged into the design such that at least people walking over them go and here's a nice idea. old mm -hmm. bullet thing like not that. not spend not replace every bullet and all the rest of it but the, you've got the look and feel you've got the nice blue stone there and all you're interested in is making sure the substructure isn't going to get damaged, and it doesn't need to be, right? So you I, just drop I, this. I, thing. I, I agree, hundred percent. Were you planning to? No, no. You were storing. Yeah. Your proposals to store them. Were you going to store them in the same place that those Bogardus panels from the, bu the, the building that was taken down on the south? West corner yeah. chambers. Those got they, stolen. Right? stolen. Yeah. Everything they gets stolen and lost. I own a lot of those. Okay, good. Uh, thank heavens they're somewhere. <laughs> so I, I'm not yeah. sure I get it. Uh, so what you do is, and I'm sh I can't remember which street, we did this on one, where you drop the substructure so you've got a waterproof uh, membrane, yeah. and then you put these panels back in. And instead of diamond, you know, you're going to do yeah. your structure and your waterproofing, right. and instead of diamond plates, you drop, your you drop the vault light, light panel back in, and you, you like use that. the likely to be salvaged, potentially be salvaged, you use the best pieces, and that's not going to cost you a fortune. Yeah, I understand what you're saying. So, so the like functionality it. of the, of what it was originally built for, for light, is no longer necessary. You need that's right. The aesthetics, light right. aesthetics, yeah. Yeah. replaced, or refurbished, or whatever. So, okay. so I would recommend we propose that, which we understand it's expensive to do it the old-fashioned way completely, but we're not suggesting that. We're suggesting keeping the look and feel and finding a compromise, okay. but, but, but not removing what you've got there and like putting that. down. But Roger, like the, the other thing too is, you know, this comes up a lot, is that when they bought the building, they knew what they were getting. So, this was before it was landmark. No. But still, they knew it might have to be replaced at some point. Yeah, they, they had no idea that 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 it, it, it'd be a million dollars. I want right. to keep it clear. Let him finish. You know, uh, and uh, you know, we got to be careful about bending over backwards with people with, with, with owners' financial issues. So it, it's not. But we're setting a precedent. I think others can follow instead of. So in your building, if you bought a unit forty years ago. And this was to you. You would say, "Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll spend half a million dollars myself to replace it." That's Maybe. what you're. I'm just asking. But what I'm saying is that the financial issues should not be uh, well in consideration to our landmark issues. They need so. to be. It needs to be considered, no, Mark. I I, so let's, so my proposal is: thank you for the presentation, and I would recommend that we approve this with the condition that. The original panels be inlaid 
uh, above the now permanent membrane. Right. I agree. I agree too. I feel like it's not enough for me. Uh, like I think, or we have to add something about. We have to take a position on this because it's yeah. it's, it's a little bit like what he's saying. I mean, yeah. I know I don't I don't want them to pay the big bucks, but people people are making. I have to do it in my daily practice, and people on vaults. Sure, I'm putting vaults in everywhere. Right? It's costing a fortune in all these buildings all over, and someone makes a choice, or at least that we have say that what is appropriate for our. For our district, if you do this to all the places, you will not have, an, you'll never uncover any. You'll never, no one will ever bring them back, and then so they'll be all is, gone. What so is so let's so maybe just think of, I'll, I'll get behind this, but I think we should no, think about maybe it. Maybe we shouldn't get behind this. What, no, no, I think, have, I think we have, I think, I think, I need covered, to look at, it's not like it's exposed, right. and they're taking away from the public the view of what's, uh, what's not already at the public view, but. I think that you have to take it building by building. Okay, I think so in your that? case where you're taking buildings that are being brought up all from the up. all the way up. That's one thing. Mm -hmm. You price in this million dollars mm -hmm. half mm -hmm. into the units. Mm -hmm. However, here are some people who, you know, Inherited. stayed in the community, trying to do broadly the right thing, but say, God, you know, it's a lot for us to do what a brand new refurb. Yeah, so I think to your point about it being specifically an application yep. just right. for that right. yes. on the building yep. that's already been renovated and such. Recognizing these right. are long-term tenants of the right. community. Da, yeah, da, 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 da. I'm right. hearing, but I'm hearing a permanent solution now between the three of you. And that is, if we already have exposed vault lights, they should be kept and restored. If it's already buried and deconstructed for years. Then we preserve it, but we can't make them bring it up if it's a little building. I think that should be our general position from now on. Right. Good. But for this, I think right. we need to no, be site specific. Yeah. Okay, so shall we vote? Yeah, shall we vote on that? Well, let's make that, that, that language that it's site specific. Yeah, 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 yeah. Jason's good at that. Okay, so in favor of that resolution, which is approval with conditions, right? Which you would accept, correct? Yeah, okay, which the applicant accepted. Mm -hmm. Okay, one, two, three, you? four, five, Mark, uh, two, no. four, six, no. six, six, six against. You're against. You're a no. So six, zero, one. Okay, great. When's your hearing? Uh, it's Tuesday. Oh, terrific. Tuesday? <laughs> really? I thought we were right? not supposed to have this. What? Oh. <laughs> it's pre... <laughs> uh, I know. It's he, he, he he well, well, it's Jason. He's got nothing to do okay. before Tuesday. <laughs> it's it's yeah. not so much that, but we're setting a precedent. No, we're not. You, you we're need not to check before you take the application that we need to really be the other side of our board meeting. Board. So the full board, which is at the end of the month. So to come to us on a Thursday and present to LPC the following Tuesday means the rest of our community can't vote on it. Vote on it. Oh, um, well, that's not your problem. No. Right. But that's, no, you pass. You, you, go, okay. get out of here. You get out of here before it gets... You know, get but when you... So always right. ask, and when they yeah. say, oh, we're going, then you say, no, 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 you have to yeah. defer until after the full board meeting. Okay. But, right. but we won't know. hold that against you. Okay. Okay. All, right. All right. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Okay. So is 105, 107 fully gathered yeah. now? Do you want extras? Do you want extras? Okay, if people don't want their yeah, packs, you can return. Uh, yes, I got to take a resolution. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah, here's another one. Thank you. Uh, so Bruce can write this one. Yeah. Hi. How are you? Presenting? Chris. Yeah. No, I think uh, we may have done these. Are they all? Oh, yeah, they're all good. Did we get, wasn't there a prior resolution Yeah, on this? so here's a prior resolution. We rejected the application in the past. A different application? Yeah, of course. Jason, I approve that. Okay, thank you. You got to go? No. Oh. No, no, no. Not the first show. you have another, another uh, packet? <laughs> We have an upside down one we can oh. lend review kind of. Yeah. I can, can share with. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. You can have. I can share with. There we go. I see it out there very well. Thank you. Okay. Or we borrow. You could borrow yeah. a meshes. Yeah. Then no, what? It's fine. I see it. We're good. I have one right here. Mm -hmm. so.
his grandson yeah. was my dear friend. Uh, I'm uh, uh, shall I dive in? Uh, in that fire. Sure. Definitely. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 I've been a resident of Tribeca CB1 for 20 plus years. Um, our office is actually in Tribeca as well. Uh, it's where you know, my kids have grown up. I actually live across the street from this building. And for the last 10 years, um, I've been looking at this building. It's been dilapidated. We've had a lot of problems. I live on the second floor, so being close to the street, we've had a lot of problems with Saison. Remember that we well, certainly yeah, do. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. We were sued by them. Oh, wow. um, so over, the, over this period of time, over the 10 years, uh, I've gotten to know the building very well. I look at it all the time out my window, and I see it as a, a great opportunity to, um, to really do you know, a beautiful restoration. Uh, I did not particularly like the previous um, design that was approved. Well, we actually rejected it. We, rejected we, we rejected it. it. I wrote it. <laughs> so what, what I you know, embarked on doing was to hire Chris and his firm that have an amazing reputation for, for um, landmark restoration. We actually did a project together at 25 Mercer Street. Um, and the, the end result was you know, a very beautiful building, very proud of it. We did a lot of restoration work. We would like to do the same restoration work um, at one five read. Um, fixing up the facades, in particular with the, the actual usage of the building vis-a-vis -vis, um, tenants like Saison. We actually uh, would like to, our, our intent is to actually have that space not include restaurants, bars, nightclubs, um, anything of that, that kind of um, disturbance. We would like to focus on uh, dry goods, schools. We've been talking to a couple of schools actually going to the the retail space. So when did you do 25 Mercy? We completed that in 2017. The uh, uh, first quarter of 2017. That's it's actually a photograph of it on the. Um, we, we did rooftop additions to both of those buildings. Yeah. Um, again, uh, you know, the work that we do is very measured, very understated. You'll see in the. In the no, I'm, I'm, I'm aware of the building, and I, um, I was involved with 37. Mercer just down the okay. block. Eric Fischel was there for many years. But go ahead. And then just the last thing I'll hand, hand it over to Chris. Um, obviously being in this, this community district for two decades, um, you know, we've also participated a lot in, um, in the community and we have, I think we had submitted some letters of support from some key people in the community. Uh, one of which was asking the media to save, CD, save PS150 twice. I'm sure you probably followed that. And then the other one, which, which I think is important, is uh, that 104 read directly across the street. Um, the individual that actually owns the penthouse and is the, the president of the condo board is in strong support of the um, proposal and, and Chris's design. So, Chris designed the penthouse of that person's. No, he's, he's designing the, um, the project 105. Oh. This one? Yes. This one. Okay. Yeah, they've, they've seen the, 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 uh, Thank you. And Chris, are you Fogarty or Finger? I am Fogarty. Okay. Uh, and we always say we prefer being Fogarty Finger than Finger Fogarty. But, yeah. <laughs> um, so, uh, thank you for having us here tonight. Um, I will go quickly through the slides, so I'm sure there's lots of questions. Um, the uh, site sits in the South Historic District on Reed Street. Um, these are the two buildings. These are our two buildings, and they're part of a three-family group of buildings that were, were designed as one with a center pediment in, this is 103, 105, and 107. We're doing 105 and 107. 103 is being uh, renovated. Uh, Jason is uh, responsible for that. Um, and, we knew that. <laughs> and, uh, and it 
we are looking at restoring uh, all three, well, our two buildings in collaboration to the same level and finish and everything of the approved landmark. But uh, if you package. forgive me, you're not involved in this project, so why do you have to recuse yourself? Well, I don't know, don't I? I mean, you should. Actually, yeah, be careful okay, after okay, that okay, whole exactly. fandango. Okay, right, yeah, okay. be safe, not he sorry. Will, yeah, but he can talk. Right. Yeah. Go on. So. Please. We're, we're very under, uh, very considerate of our neighbor. Um, these are our two buildings. There is the historic photo showing them in about 1940. Uh, at that point, this is us, the one with the red line around it, 105 and 107. 103 at that point already had a fire escape added to it. Our building has been... Uh, it has had the retail in the ground floor and sub-cellar for a while and has, they have moved out. But the upper floor has really not been lived in for 10 years or so. Um, there is considerable facade damage, uh, window damage, the existing elevator bulkhead is leaking, uh, the, uh, it, is, it is in a very sorry state. Um, there An is unbelievable eccentric lived in the top floor. That's right, and I've seen that years. apartment. Huge place, I knew them, him, Yeah. and it was falling apart then, but it was glorious. It was kind of cool. Let's leave it that way. Yes, I'm sure a lot of good parties were had. Yes. Um, a lot of water damage, you can see how much the facade is getting uh, infiltrated water on the interior. Um, the cornice that ran originally along the uh, top of the storefront has uh, been removed, um, and the existing main cornice is rusting and uh, falling apart also. It is, we have this slide which shows the overall uh, yeah. condition of Tribeca rooftops. Um, it is part of the language of Tribeca, uh, some more than others, but we are within a world of many rooftops and not and, and most of them follow a similar pattern where they try and recede back either by angled roofs or whatever mechanism they can to, re to reduce the visibility from the street. Th this slide shows just on Reed Street, um, 103 has had a two-story addition approved by Landmarks. Uh, we are asking for the same two-story similar uh, and there is obviously from pre-Landmarks pre I'm assuming this building got a much higher addition. And when did 103 get approved for a two-story? I don't remember. A year ago. Oh, yeah. Well, unfortunately, more like two years ago. But uh, Or maybe three. Oh, don't what do say we, that, my friend. What did we say on it? Uh, we actually did not let love it uh, because it was we found the presentation confusing because Jason didn't present it. And it oh, not, yeah, I remember. There was some confusion. But yeah. it's, it's a non-visible rooftop addition. It's two stories. So <coughs> sure. very Non-visible? Uh, very minimally. Ah. <laughs> a very scared person. Well, that's right. Your, your younger yeah, sister. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, that yeah, was yeah, terrible. terrible. She's doing, terrible. terrible. She's doing oh, better now? She has a degree from Columbia University. Okay, good. Yeah, so. okay. That's all right. So it was minimally <laughs> visible and it still is. Is it built yeah. now? No. It's getting built. Okay. Yeah, it's getting As minimally visible. Yeah. Yeah. I love the way yeah, yeah. I do. Not from the cycle, everyone's building. The cycle's over. But go ahead. I'm not ready for that. Okay, go ahead. It is. <laughs> I'm in denial. Um, so <laughs> we won't get onto Brexit yeah, then, will we? I'm on the ground. <laughs> so, so we have, a, a, a separate to this application, we have an extensive uh, renovation of the entire facade uh, proceeding through um, landmarks. This includes new storefront, uh, reinstating the old corners, um, new windows, re restoring the corners, uh, restoring the back. Uh, these are details of that. The storefront um, is picking up the language of the original storefront um, with a strong horizontal at, at, at this point, and then um, doors so, that are more in keeping to the original molding that was there. So we would refer to the tax illustration to see what what yeah, the, if what you, if the you, original original was? Yes, if you can kind of, there's a little, it's hard to tell in there because it was surrounded by cars. Yeah, I know. But we have yeah, a glow up that. from something that, oops. And you could just see here, they had a sort of mm. 
a, a, a classical face, yeah. and we have re, we're using those same proportions to reinstate yeah. that as yeah, the yeah. base mm -hmm. of the store. Front. And you don't know how many doors they had, do you? You know, it's interesting. We we looked at it, and we think. I'm going back to this. I think they were kind of interesting. I think they recessed in. There was a door here where the elevator went in, ultimately, and then another door here. And we, as far as we understand, we think they recessed in, and then maybe they entered the retail from the side or something. It was kind of weird. Hmm. And this one that Jason's working on um, is kind of has a beautiful bay hmm. vestibule, kind of a vitrine going on, which mm -hmm. you're re re restoring, right? We were Putting made it. to reinstore that, yeah, yeah. Re re make it brand new. That was a club, I mean, that, that was the, that was a sort of a bay for the club back in the oh, 70s. I knew it as an upholstery store. Well, yeah, that was way much days. later, yeah. yeah, you got to be oh, a little bit older, oh, Jason. Oh, you know okay. it as an upholstery store. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so, you know, we do have, we do have you a number. You upholstered it then. Sorry, no, we, have a, we have a number of doors. You know, the Sorry. difficulty is that uh, with the code and everything else, we need new stairs and separate egresses, yeah. and up the and so we have a door for the residential, a door for the egress from the uh, upstairs, a door for the retail, and a door for retail egress on the other stair from upstairs. So we're kind of full of doors, which is is just. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Chalk this doors. is all wood and wood. Clear, clear, clear glass. Paint, yes, and, 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 and you're going to talk about no lighting and things like that. That's right, anything. <laughs> but very, it, it's going to run very much, in, it's exactly the same paint color that was historically found in 103 when Jason's team did the study. So the windows, the windows from all three buildings will be painted the same color and, and mm. It should look, and the corners will be the same color. So we've matched mm -hmm. every paint color, so they will feel as though they, or look like they did when they were first built. Conception. Where is the clock on Dwayne or this block? Dwayne. Dwayne, oh. 165 Dwayne. Okay, sorry. So that's going on. On the rear of the building, we're going to repoint, clean the brick, uh, clean, you know, fix the broken lintels, and uh, take out a lot of the old mechanical equipment that's sitting on the roof illegally on the... Uh, on the roof of the retail. Um, we're going to uh, put a terrace on that roof and um, then and then we come to the extension itself. So this one is a probably a blast to the past to you guys for uh, what what got approved ultimately by landmarks but not by yourselves. Um, if you remember, it came in as much taller uh, and got progressively smaller until landmarks approved it. This is, we call it the Sapata scheme. It was two and a half stories high, uh, sort of <coughs> like a glass, big glass yeah, sort of hat. We've taken a different approach. Yeah, you call um, it still hat? Oh, that's cute. That's, that's <laughs> good. Taking a different approach, much, much more subtle uh, materials, just a, a zinc, uh, zinc roof glass, metal glass windows. Um, oh, do you have materials? I, did we bring materials in the end? Yes, sir. I don't know. It's a good question. I hope so. I, if we're lucky, we did. Anyway, keep going. So, so we understand that you didn't approve the original one, but within the remit of where we were, that approval still was valid up until very recently, and we kept within the envelope and kept trying to reduce the envelope of the impact of the new scheme. Um, by keeping within the same uh, profile. This is that old scheme, and this is our current scheme. So it recesses back from the corn, from the property line between five and nine feet, so it doesn't engage with the front of the building, and then it steps back up to a terrace and then up to another terrace. This, this larger lump is where the uh, elevator machine room and staircases all come up, I noticed that, as is the case with Fountainhead, you're a few inches higher than the than Jason's extension. We had to be. Why? Because I couldn't know Jason and not be bigger than him. <laughs> 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 no, 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 that, that, that was not uh, there. <laughs> that was not a... Uh, well, you saw yeah. But right. you are, you are yeah. higher. We are higher. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you higher? I, I, no, no, I'm being serious. Uh, I think our elevator machine room goes up a little bit taller. Because it's a bigger building, or um, just like that? I don't know the reason why. Honestly, I don't well, let's look at the visibility the studies, right? Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, Are they so, non-visible? No. No. Everywhere. 
So it is visible ah. from very few spots. From Such all as? these spots, so this is look. This is from Reed Street looking uh, west or immediately close or opposite or even on Church Street, mm. it's not visible at all. But And, and the mock-up has been up there and we oh, did a I, whole oh, walk yeah, around yeah, and we, we realized the mock-up was the wrong height and we reduced it and we realized we had mechanical on the roof and we took all that off because it was going to be visible for some part. But it is visible from West Broadway, mm. um, a little bit in front of the Chase Bank or where the Gotham bikes used to be. I don't know what that's called now. And it is visible a little bit from Reed Street. Where are we? Are Here, we, look, at, look at this. One look page. at this. P uh, comparison view one, page 17. Yeah. So That was one of the issues we had oh, before. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So on the left is the previously right. approved scheme, and but on the right is ours. Almost as bad. And, and uh, yes, that's one way of looking at it. And then that is from here. And then we realized... So that, that is that, and this is the mock-up in place, and that's the, a little rendering of wow. our roof on it. So, so one we highlighted in blue, so it really stuck out, but if it's really the zinc mm, color, yeah, yeah. it sort of fades away a little bit. Pretty visible from the park to the back. I was going to get to that. Wow. So Reed so, Street, coming down Reed Street, we have the similar visibility. Whoa. This was the old Zapata scheme in red, yeah. and this is it's our scheme in blue. Yeah. And this is montaging <laughs> it in yeah. from yeah. Reed Street. I mean, it's it's not it's not it's visible, but you have to be your back so far. It just fades away. Into but back so far becomes the park, which is significant. Yeah. And then the final yeah, one I is mean, the park, at... which when we got and this. Pink is the previously approved scheme, and the blue is our scheme. Yeah. yeah. And well. what happened was, you know, when we were doing this, and we, the, it was summer, right? So we couldn't see a thing, and we did all. And when we did the mock-up, we realized that this view was visible, and it wasn't even in the original uh, application. I don't think they even showed you this view. Um, well, no, I think didn't we talk about them building that wall up? The, the party wall? One issue was, back then, that there was a significant extension that was proposed. Shop right. was the designer right. for the corner it, building that never right, happened that's right. because this building leans over the property that's right. line. That's right. And they couldn't... And they, they were couldn't. arguing, you'll know, well, you'll yeah. see it until shop build their thing, which shop never built. That because down. this was, it was too much of a problem with this building having settled beyond so its So, I mean, you know, line. this is highly visible. Well, it was even more visible when well, we had the mock-up, and because we had a bunch of mechanical equipment, and when we saw this, we took that. So, so we did reduce it down eight feet from what. If you've been walking mm. around, you might have seen the mock-ups being dropped. Yeah, in well, size even because we've been adapting still. it as we've been working. Wow. I, I want to just like, uh, remind this is the original Zapata, which is what. Yeah, we, this yeah, is yeah, yeah, we yeah. rejected. Yeah. We rejected it. Yeah, no, I understand yeah, that. Yeah, but well, what the Zapata they got approved? Well, we that's not our that, consideration, that our, actually. Yeah. We have values here. Whether no, LPC no. follow them or not is another no, matter. We, we, we understand. And like I said, I was, until we saw the mock-up, I didn't even know this was going on because in the during the summer we couldn't see it. And right. then when we did the mock-up, I was like, oh my goodness. Didn't so, the Eccentric own the building? I don't know, Michael. Who owned it in the end? No, okay. Okay. okay, so, so, here, so well, here is the mock-up, and this is it. And yeah. you've tried every which way, and this there's no way you can help over well, we did some of take this? Well, we did take off all the... We had to reallocate all the mechanical because we, we didn't realize you were going to see that too, so that took it down eight feet. What is the square footage mm -hmm. of the rooftop extension? It's about 3,800 square feet. Or and it's one penthouse? No, it's, it's, uh, no. it's, it's split between 2,300 and like 1,800 or something so, like that. So... You know, it is a beautiful building, you're doing a beautiful thing, but there's ways to sort of, you know, go one and a half stories or one story and, you know... What is the floor, what is the slab to slab height of the floor below? It is 11 feet floor to floor. So it's high, it doesn't need to be. Which is 10 or 9 foot 8 by the time you've done all the structure. So it's not super high underneath it, but it's... it's I, I just want to say, basically that's the presentation, right? Yeah. That's it. I, I want to say that... Um, You've been in Tribeca a few decades. Uh, I've, I've been here 31 years. And I do appreciate that you've been staring at that building and you've been part of the community, as have I. I, I, I do. To me, that stuff matters. And we're a community board with LPC itself. So community is community. And 
that block, that block's architecture <clears throat> has fascinated me for 31 years. And 31 years ago, it was a wreck. It was, it was the, a remnant of Hell's Hundred Acres, but it was pure beauty. Um, it's just, you know, it's of a piece. Um, so, so it's great that you would restore it. And yes, there are rooftop extensions everywhere, but this is this is a lot. The visibility, the visibility looking east from from Bogarda's Triangle is is mm. a big ask. LPC may, LPC may accept it. It is a different LPC than before, and they accepted what you call the Snowheda design. Uh, but uh, I, I just. The visibility from me, for me is, is so. Let's much. go around. Otherwise, I like it. I yeah. like everything. Yeah, about it. I think Susan. I, 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 I do too, but I can't. Jeffrey, yeah, Jeff. I'm really glad you're working on this building. I like everything else you're doing, but that's it's just too good. Vera, I mean, I think yeah. part of the um, part of the way we get this done actually is there's a lot of work to be done in the building itself. Yeah. The facade is in very bad condition. Part yeah. of where we financially are. Yeah. yeah, we understand. We understand. We understand. Vera? Yeah, no, I really appreciate you doing that. It's too waiting for this long and having to take care of this building. But Am if I there's good? any way to make it less visible, mm -hmm. um, that would be possible for me. Megan? This just goes against every precedent. Yeah. Set, so. yeah, yeah. Well, uh, it, that's not true, but um, well, but it, it, well, we'll try it tends to go against precedent. Lately. But we have had it. Lately. 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 Yeah. Mark. Yeah, visibility uh, too much as previously stated. Uh, financial should not be concerned. Do you want to say anything, Jason? I'm going to say nothing. So I mean, I think I mean, well, this is wonderful, and and you're right. Those of us who've been around here a long time have seen Cezanne come and go, and all of that, and Reed Street miraculously survive. Um, so I mean, what I would like to frame is that we approve this subject to a non-visible addition. And, uh, and just in, in, in the matter of disclosure, it's not this block, but on the block east, mm -hmm. on the same side of the street, I was involved in a new construction in a landmark district, same landmark, designed by Annabelle Seldorf. And that's, you know, that's even, one might argue, less contextual because it, it, was, a, it was a lot of a building that had collapsed, if you recall. So we have contemporary architecture. Well, we have Jason's I'm going to say one thing, not about that, but... It's, if you're going to say something like that, before we're going to mention that, uh, we have to be really specific yeah, about that. Yeah, non-visible from West Broadway right. and from... Absolutely. Whatever, whatever it is. Uh, whatever broad, uh, bro doing. Well, it's, it's really, it's West Broadway. For, for it? for me, it's West Broadway. It's West Broadway. That's yeah, what West it Broadway. Is. Over the primary right. West Broadway. Over the primary Over the pri Yeah, no, we don't. I mean, we'd never approve it if it was visible. It's not visible from the primary and, facade. And it's, None it's, of them it's, are. I mean, from the frustrating thing about the West Broadway thing... I understand it's low. It's visible for 20 feet. Of course, of course, but... That's West Broadway, and that's why we all moved to Tribeca. But that's where the building is. It's yeah. like anyone who builds right. at Sixth yeah. Avenue and Church, yeah. that intersection, yeah. and everyone is building. Yeah. Yeah. Anyone who's building around so uh, Tribeca Park, or we commend the the applicant for their vision and for the quality of the work, and oh, yeah. we wholeheartedly approve it, subject to. Too. It not being visible from West, sub, sub, subject to the rooftop addition not being visible yes. from West Broadway. From the north. All together? And the park. Well, that is West Broadway, isn't it? I mean, that is no, no, that's all a thing hard thing zero. All right, well, we're, okay, let's define West Broadway between it? where. That's actually, you're asking them to do something that's important. Well, no, the two most visible sites, which is here. West Broadway from where? No, it's the same, it's the same, Mark. And then the park. But that's West Broadway. West Broadway between, it's between. No, it's I the same location. Like you only see it from Hudson. Oh, West Broadway. Right. It's a triangle that meets West Broadway and Hudson, Hudson. meet at Bogarda's Triangle. Bogarda's Triangle. From Bogarda's Triangle and from West Broadway and between uh, Reed and um, There seems Church. to be some... Church. No, no, no. Am I... Am I... Am I... Bogarda's is south of Reed. So. Bogardus is the south the side, side of Reed. Yeah. It comes to a point right. just before Chambers right. where right. West right. Broadway and Hudson, Hudson meet. Yes. Yeah. Four. So I mean, we're, we're really getting. So we're saying we're <laughs> saying from <laughs> Chambers. I think it's reasonable to put it in West Broadway from Chambers to where? From Chambers to Dwayne. 
Yeah. Right? Okay, right. Right? Because Is that okay? This, yes. Yes. This long view from Reed, from like 700 feet away, Chambers to is a different situ yeah. situation. Yeah, but yeah, I, think, I think Jason's point is well right. taken. I mean, w would you consider <coughs> thinking about this a little? I think we're, we, I mean, as, so let me just defend my client who's paying me. Um, the, uh, <laughs> He bought this building with a landmark approval in place, yeah. um, and, and a rejection from our committee. And, uh, yes, and decided that that was something that was not what he wanted to right. see Understood. as a neighbor in yeah, the neighborhood, yeah, yeah, yeah. and wanted to do something better. Right. Which and this so, is, yeah, it I know, might not be better, uh, yes. you know, in, in Hong Kong, but it's better but, yeah, here. That's yeah. right. So that was his logic. So he we could understand. have just been trying to build this thing. Mm -hmm. The previous approval. So that, I'm just saying right. that it was it was done. No, no. We understand. I'm curious. I have to ask you then. Under that uh, under that scenario, and I know about these things. Um, why didn't the process, at least the this part of the process, get done earlier? In terms of getting in front of yes, you. All, yes. Yes. Uh, I. I, I feel like we've been zipping away. I don't know. I mean, okay, um, but I guess the not, previous not, room not was irrelevant because you didn't want to design, you didn't want to build that, because, yeah, which is good. Actually. Yeah, we agree. Right. And you know, the idea here was the we we could have built that scheme. We had the landmarks approval. We could have done. It. But you know, talking with landmarks and talking with the team. We wanted to just use that same volume that was already approved, so not ask for anything more, but actually attempt to just create something that is contextual or karma and karma that, you know. Yeah, no, we, we understand all that. You do, this is the last, um, the last thing we have. So I just, you do acknowledge or recognize that when, when we rejected this but LPC approved this, the architectural firm shop was building above El Cantina. It was it was a restaurant that was on the mm, corner at mm, that time. Mm. So even though we didn't accept these kinds of criteria at the time, this committee, there was a notion that it was already blocked by a taller building. Well, were you aware of that? But, but, but landmarks does. I mean, Valerie, landmarks mm -hmm. can't okay, use so. anything in the future when they approve no, something. No, you guys no. might have yeah, yeah. Anyway, so yeah, I mean, but back to but but would you? I don't know when your hearing is. Would you when mull this hearing? over a little bit and come back it next is, month? We got shunted a week, but what is it, April 16th now or something? Oh. Yes, April 16th. It's before our April meeting. Before. I am disposed personally to approve this at some slightly lower level. I, I don't. I know that if they if they cannot build this, then the building will sit there and molder. Well... But again, to Mark, and, and he has, he's doing. No, it's not visible, <laughs> or it, with a minimal visible. I right, can't remember right. the minimal. It was from church. Way so over. Guys, no, it's yeah. nowhere near this. Thing. We, tr we, right, we, did the right we, thing. Yeah, right. <laughs> we didn't solve the problem of all the, the right way wet being west. And yeah, and, but I but that's one of the, so one of the beauties of Tribeca and why one o o seven has attracted all the people. It's attracted. Is because of all of this flow of property heights, because of the Bogardus triangles of the world, and you know there's so few of these buildings left to sort of say, okay, I for another. I, I so uh, how do you want to do? It? So I was going to say, so we would you consider holding it over, or would you like us to reject it? For what purpose it? would they hold to, it over? To let mull it over, redesign come, something, mull come over what, Roger? Well, Reducing. I mean, I think the one, one thing I just wanted to. View from the corner of West Broadway near the City Bank. That that view of the building only lasts for about 20 feet. There's only a, there's only a 20 foot patch mm -hmm. where you can actually see the extension. Right. But other other than that, it's. But the Bogardus Triangle ones. But that one, except when the leaves are out, and then you well, don't but see <laughs> it doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't understand. When the trees die, it'll be visible all year round. It's only a moment in time, which we, we all understand. There's a window when you walk on that wait, block. Right. But wait, Bogardus Triangle will be open. At the, will be well, open. That's a yeah. Place. Right. So, so why it, are we it, not? It, why is that excluded well, from well, the conversation? It isn't. It's both. It's we'll both. Be, we'll do, I think the reason why I'm focusing on that one first is that one is a particularly difficult one. To yeah. Do. We, we talked about it. But we will definitely look at this and see if we can bring areas down. Good. That particular twenty foot. Right. 
well, do what you can and come back because we're, you know, as you can see, we're 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 appreciative and sympathetic, but equally, we did reject. And you saw that before you bought, or you could have seen that. So you I kind mean, of knew, or you could have asked around that, whoa, I mean, they, you know. I so. don't know what will happen when you come back, but I do know that circumstances were very different this time, all the way around in, in 2011. I do know that, I, what, it's great that you thought this know how to design was a disaster. This is much better. Something will be done with that building at some point, unless you can't afford to do it. And... I would be disposed to approve something if it were less visible. I don't know about the rest of the world. So, so, so the question is, do we hold it over and you come back, having thought about this and maybe read what, or do we reject it now by the majority of us, Bruce may not, uh, and go forward? And let Valerie talk to them. Do some clever thinking over there. Well, well uh, uh, you oh. have to figure it you out because it either will hold it over, which means LPC won't. I, don't I think. I think what we would, we would like to do is, you know, if we can get some support for you know, conditional approval in terms of bringing this down, we we do have our landmarks date set. Right. What's that? But that's not what we're suggesting. We're yeah, saying rejection. We're saying approval subject to no visibility from West Broadway between Chambers and Duane. Not everybody may support that, but there seems to be a feeling that most members would. Or hold over, which means you don't go before LPC and you've got time to come back to us. So those are the only two things we can do, unfortunately. I think my gut is we'll just we'll, we'll just keep going. Cause, right. you know, and All right. And so those in favour of rejecting the application as on the grounds of visibility, in favour. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, uh, again, I don't know these people. Six, I've never met zero, them. Something, something. Six yeah. zero zero two. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Six, right? I'm going to accuse. Oh, oh, sorry. Yeah. Six. So I, five. I wish you had considered waiting a month because it would only be a month. But. Five zero zero. Th uh, uh, two and then two one recuse, one recusal. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Great. Thank you so much. All right. Thank, thank you. you. Good luck. You so um, Laura Starr is a very busy woman, so we're going to talk about uh, Mark's uh, 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 lighting and cobblestones at the April meeting. Oh, oh. It keeps getting pushed. Well, Laura can't. Well, yeah. She can't. Well, Laura she is on our committee. Five minutes, if you want. No, no, okay. no. no. She, she will not appreciate us. It, no. But she, well, no, no, oh, no, no, so we got to So, well, until she forgets and shows up the wrong day, yeah. Can, can you stay for a minute? Sir. April 11th, right? Oh, just recuse myself from the last one. Can you stay for a minute? April 11th. Roger, can we, a little? Oh, minute? just, I mean, three minutes. I've got it. My leg is, I'm not going to be away. I don't know. I know. There's nothing. What makes you think? You know, the next, the next that's going to get approved, obviously. Yes, I have license. We need, need to stand firm. I'm with you, man. We need to get to the change the 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 I just feel like we're buying a week and we're going out on the front lines doing What we're doing is we're saying we made this neighborhood and we're not going to cave in just because LPC is run by developers. Uh, well, I, I happen to agree and I feel that we gave him uh, you know, a way we, out. We, did, we gave we, him we a gave big him latitude out. and I would have absolutely voted right. yes if yeah. right. We said, come on, work and with us. And he will get approval. It's a delicate, Susan and I have talked about that. They think getting it will get approved because the other one was getting a little more. That's, right. That's why he will get approved. But that doesn't mean that we should change our values on this committee. When nobody knew about this area, we were doing the right thing, and now everybody does know about this area. We're still doing it. Building 
it's a very good building. Say no. It's yeah. very good. Building. Okay, so um, right. well, let's you and I just walk with Susan. Yes. yes. Okay. Good. Thanks for having a great job as always. Yeah. Yeah. Just remember to ask them when they're yeah, going yeah. before. Yeah, it's not easy. It's, it's a bad visibility for them. No, no, no. Yeah. 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 Yes, yes, yes. Okay. And Roger, because of my because of my ankle shots, I can't really walk very far. No, we'll walk slow. Just down to the same road. Excuse me, we're going to talk a little bit.